Hello and welcome back everyone to a brand new Zartu Games video. My name is The Honest Meeple and today we will be unboxing this fantastic game. Root, as many of you will know, um, Root was one of the standout games of 2018. It sold out almost instantly and it has been nigh on impossible to get hold of. However, um, even though it's been a hit with gamers, I have managed and waited a while to get my hands on it and I finally have managed to get hold of a copy. Um, so, I thought I would unbox it with you and see what's inside and see what everyone is raving about. Now before I do, for those of you who don't know, what is Root? Uh, Root is a game of adventure and war in which two to four players battle for control of a vast wilderness. Now, while the base game only allows for two to four players, that being this box here, you can get the Riverfolk expansion, which is also available now, and that allows you um, to play with up to six players, or you can also um, play solo. It adds a solo mode. However, there's been mixed reviews about that, so I thought I'd hang off getting the expansion. We'll try the base game first, and if I enjoy it, who knows? I might be back unboxing the Riverfolk expansion. So, I think Root demonstrates the next step in asymmetric game design. Um, each player in Root has unique capabilities and a different victory condition. In Root, the players build the story and drive the narrative. It, the asymmetrical roles um, allow for this kind of great engagement um, and even better replayability. Uh, so, this game will keep you hooked for a while. I hope it does with myself. Uh, to give you a quick base before we even open it, uh, the, the Marquis de Cat has seized control of the woodland, which you're about to see as the game board, and their, their sole aim is to obtain the treasures hidden within this woodland. Under their rule, many creatures of the forest have banded together and they form this alliance and they seek to strengthen their resources and subvert the rule of cats. So, anyway. Enough about the story, you're probably eager to see what's inside. So, let's have a look. So, I haven't even opened it myself. I've saved it for you lovely people to open with me. I always love that bit, taking the cellophane off. Now, I have to say, one of the big reasons I got into this, well, I wanted this game, was the artwork. It is absolutely fantastic i love it it's done by the the legend carl kyle ferrin and it really is stunning so let's open the box up now i have been told there's a fair amount of paperwork in this uh, <laughs> so you have a learning to play guide which will be especially vital considering each role is completely separate from each other. You kind of have to really get to grips with each one. Now, as you can see here, this actually lays out the, the factions within the game. So you've got the cats, and they, they play a game of engine building and logistics in a way. And they're, they're trying to keep, keep a tight grasp over the vast forest. And they collect wood to build workshops, lumber mills and barracks. And they win basically by building new buildings and craft uh, and crafts. Um, the Iri, um, they are a band of hawks, and they're trying to take back the wood. Um, and they must capture as much territory as possible and build roosts before they collapse. Now, when I say collapse, it will come. You'll you'll see what I mean by that as soon as I open the box up more. So the Alliance, they kind of hide in the background. They they recruit forces and they hatch conspiracies and they begin slowly, but then they start building up and they kind of have a, as the as, as it's described on the website, they have a, a, a dramatic late game presence, but only if they can manage to keep the other players in check. And then finally the Vagabond, the, the kind of sole survivor, plays all sides of the conflict for their own gain, while also hiding a mysterious quest. They get to explore the board, fight other factions, and work towards achieving a hidden goal. So they're the four factions, as you can see there. This is a learn to play walkthrough, which will be really handy. And the law of root. There we go. So this is the kind of the, the main uh, kind of rule book, but it's more kind of a a rules reference, I would say, rather than the actual 
rule book that is more the learning to play. Anyway, enough of the uh, enough, of, enough of the rule books. Um, again, like the, the the theme runs throughout. Like the artwork isn't just nice on the cards or the board. It's fantastic in the rule book as well. Just from briefly looking. So these are the faction boards. So I will very carefully open these up. Actually, I'm not going to do it with a knife. I don't want to risk it. Hopefully I've got nails. I do, and he's successfully done it. Huzzah! So, get the plastic out of the way. We have the Woodland Alliance. There we are. Not only do you get the actual playable side, you also get a massive reference board at the back. Just to give you a kind of a bit of a, a taste of what's to come as you play this faction. And it even gives you, a, gives you an idea of how your kind of strategy should, should work out. So that's the Woodland Alliance. We also have the Vagabond, the sole, the sole player in the game. Again, the artwork on this is just beautiful. Look at him. How could you deny him? He's so cute. <laughs> it, it is. It's just, oh, it, it's a fantastic theme. I love it. There, there we go. Just skip through these quickly. Um, so the Marquis du Cat. Again, they are kind of the, the, the current, the current holders of the woodland. They, they, they police it as much as they can. Again, you've got the reference on the back. And finally, there we go, the Irie dynasties. Now, as I say, they could collapse into chaos, and this is because of the decree. Now, as far as I'm aware from looking at previous reviews, etc., of the game, you have to fill this up every go. So you, if you don't fill this up, everything collapses, you lose all the cards, and you fall into disarray. So you don't want that to happen. And again, you've got the references on the back with a kind of outline of the faction. So there we go, that is, they're the, the player boards. Um, you've also got a welcome to the world of root piece of paper, just giving you an idea, oh it's only one sided, just giving you an idea of what's in the box, and rules of thumb. And then we have this fantastic player board, the, the, the game board I should say. Now, because I am a bit of a magician, by the power of video editing, I can click my fingers and the board is all set out. There we go. So again, you've got this fantastic artwork. The, the, the openings within the woodland look brilliant with the small buildings. Just everything about it fits the theme and it's almost like a 70s artwork, I feel. But it just, it works so well, um, especially with the, the creatures of the forest. It just... It, it's beautiful um, and you also have a different side so again with the power of video editing we have a wintry scene um, it changed the game up a bit uh, the the clearings around the forest are in different locations I'm not sure how much it affects the game but that will all be in the rules uh, I will be doing a review of this uh, on my um, on my channel there is also a review up on the Zartu uh, Games website as well, so do go check that out. It gives you an in-depth look into this fantastic game. So that's the map board. So back to normal. Let's continue having a look at what's inside the box. So you've got the punch boards here with all the little tokens. Again, that artwork is just fantastic. Every little bit, every little detail has been maintained throughout this. And again, you've got some blank tokens here that I believe are just... Obviously, they've just punched the board out. Makes sense. So now you have the punch boards. And we'll go, with the, we'll go with the dice first. Just two dice that are used throughout the game. You also have the cards. Again, the, the, the artwork on these is brilliant. I, that ambush card is just fantastic. And even the backs of the cards look brilliant. I won't spoil it too much. I won't open too many of the cards, but you can see you can see some there. So finally, we have to have a look at these wooden tokens that just look so adorable and <laughs> look amazing. Uh, I'll be putting up some close-up views on here, but they look. 
fantastic. They, they, they've they been printed on only one side, which makes sense again. But they just, they, they fit with the theme really nicely. And they're not, they're not too, it's not like having a load of plastic minis. I think if you had that, it would just destroy the theme. But it, it, it continues to outdo it. So you've got, obviously, the, the, the mice for the Alliance. You've got the, uh, the raccoon for the Vagabond. The cats, of course, for the Marquis de Cats. And the the eagles the uh, not eagles sorry hawks for the Irie dynasty and that, that's everything in the box there 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 is everything you also get a load of bags which is something i really like in games i hate not having enough bags um, but that's root that's everything in there it fits really nicely into the box as well the box isn't obnoxiously large which is a nice nice thing to have but there we go guys that is root as i say the review is up on these r2 games website so do go and have a read of that it, as i say it really dives into the game the mechanics and how it plays so if you want to see whether this game is right for you go and check that out if you want to get hold of a copy of Root, it is now available. It is on the Zar 2 Games website at the moment. And if you want to take a 5% discount, just enter the discount code HONESTMEEPLE5 and that will give you 5% off your order. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing of Root. And we hope to see you all next time for another Zar 2 Games review.